NATO Paladin Strike Military Exercise in Europe, a spirit of global force strength and readiness. In December 2024, NATO forces again demonstrated their strength and combat readiness through a military exercise called Paladin Strike, held at a Dazi military base, Latvia, located in the Baltic region. The exercise is one of the most exciting military simulations, where forces from various NATO member states collaborate to meet the challenges of increasingly complex global threats. A Dazi military base was chosen as the main location for this exercise due to its strategic importance in the Eastern European region. With its proximity to countries with sensitive geopolitical relations, Latvia is a strategic point to test the readiness of NATO forces to deal with various conflict situations. Aimed at honing tactics, coordination and interoperability between forces from different countries, the Paladin Offensive incorporated various military elements, including infantry, artillery, and air support. One of the highlights of the exercise was the use of the Paladin Artillery System, which is known for its high-precision fire capability and large destructive power. This system has become a mainstay weapon in dealing with threats from enemies who seek to threaten European territory. Participants in the exercise came from various NATO countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Germany and the Nordic countries, each bringing specialized military expertise, ranging from ground combat tactics to excellence in air defense systems. First Armored Division is rapidly mobilizing in response to Operation Pacific Fortitude. With the emergency deployment readiness exercise demonstrating NATO's strong commitment to maintaining stability and peace in the European region, the exercise was also attended by various military officials and international observers. They witnessed firsthand how the various military units work together to overcome the challenges presented. In addition, the exercise served as an important venue for sharing experiences and techniques between NATO member states that have different military cultures. At the start of the exercise, NATO forces were given a simulation of a deep attack from an enemy seeking to take control of a strategic area. In this scenario, they had to demonstrate the ability to respond quickly with effective tactics, from evacuation to counterattack, the use of modern technology, including drones and advanced radar systems, was also an important part of the operation. One of the interesting aspects of the Paladin strike was the integration between ground and air forces, demonstrating the importance of coordination between the two branches of the military. In some scenarios, NATO warplanes teamed up with ground artillery to take out enemy positions that were difficult for infantry troops to reach, demonstrating the high level of professionalism and skill of NATO troops. In addition to combat exercises, there were also tactical training sessions on controlling an uncertain battlefield, where troops are taught to adjust strategies based on real-time changes in the situation, requiring flexibility and speed of decision-making. This is a testament to the importance of training and ensuring the readiness of NATO forces to deal with different types of threats. While this exercise has a military focus, it also aims to strengthen relations between NATO member states. Collaboration between soldiers from different countries, who may not have met before, creates a stronger bond in maintaining global peace. It also demonstrates NATO's unity in dealing with potential threats.
This exercise not only tests the combat capabilities of NATO forces, but also demonstrates the use of the latest technology in modern warfare, technology that is crucial in creating strategic advantage on the battlefield. In addition to advanced artillery systems, armored fighting vehicles and communication systems are used that allow troops on the ground to stay connected and work together efficiently. In addition, testing the readiness of troops in the face of cyber attacks was also part of the Paladin strike. Given the growing cyber threats in the modern world, this exercise helps NATO forces to adapt to new threats that may emerge, including the hacking of defense systems and other critical infrastructure. This underscores the importance of preparedness in all forms of warfare, not just in the physical theater. For the Latvian people, this exercise also provides its own benefits. In addition to enhancing national security, the presence of NATO forces in Latvia also plays a role in strengthening the country's relationship with the Western Alliance. Latvia as a NATO member feels more secure with this kind of exercise and military readiness, which also has a positive influence on the stability of the European region. After the end of the exercise, the participants were evaluated on their performance in the practiced scenarios. These evaluations are crucial for future improvements and ensure that NATO forces can mobilize more effectively and efficiently in the event of a real crisis. This signifies that the Paladin Strike exercise is not just about simulation, but about long-term preparation in maintaining global security. Paladin Strike demonstrates the importance of collective power in the face of evolving global threats. The success of this exercise is not only judged by tactical success, but also by how well NATO forces can adapt and work together. On the images, the intensity grows. Soldiers from both units forge a bond, united by a common mission. NATO once again proved its commitment to maintaining peace and stability in the world, despite the challenges. Pacific Fortitude demonstrates our unwavering dedication to peace and security in the